educators, today we're going to introduce to you an effective way to enhance and evaluate your student's mastering level on equivalent fractions using an activity called spoons. At the end of this activity, students should be able to recognize, identify, and generate equivalent fractions using matching cards. To be able to play this game, students must have an understanding of parts of whole, comparing and ordering fractions, must be able to identify and describe fractions, must be able to identify equal parts of a whole, and must have an understanding of numerators and denominators. So, the objective of the game is to be the last player remaining in each round. The winner of the round will get the first letter in the word S P O O N S spoons. Future wins from a player will win him another letter from the word spoons. The first player to get all the letters, meaning he won 6 rounds, is the winner of the game. This game can be played by 2 to 6 players. For this spoons activity, we will need some plastic spoons, one less than the total number of players, a deck of equivalent fraction cards, and a score sheet. Each player gets 4 cards, and for the purpose of this video, we will show the cards facing upwards. Player A picks a card from the deck, then discards one card from a hand that is not equivalent by giving it face down to player B. Player B takes it, then picks one card from a hand and plays it at the bottom of the deck. Each player in turn does the same as quickly as possible. Each player should have four cards in his hand at all times. Player A draws another card from the top of the deck and the game continues until one player has four equivalent fractions. The winner of the game will take the spoon. The player left without a spoon has lost the round. To keep score, when the player wins the round, he is given a letter in the word spoons. The first player to spell S-P-O-O-N-S is the winner of the game. In what way does spoon activity helps the students? Firstly, it helps students identify and generate equivalent fractions, which is key to the conceptual development of students' understanding of equivalent fractions. When students have the conceptual understanding, they will reach the organization level of the Bloom's taxonomy effective domain. Next, due to the fast-paced nature of the spoons game, it helps develop their quick thinking skills and mental calculation. It also helps improve their concentration as the game requires them to stay focused and have a sharp mind while playing. Activity like spoons helps build their confidence in equivalent fractions and maths as a whole as they enjoy playing games rather than have to face a worksheet. Children often feel pressured to get the correct answer when doing a math worksheet. By playing spoons, it helps change their perception of learning about fractions in a positive way as we all know, fractions is one of the hardest concepts in maths. Hence, this activity helps take the fear out of, out of fractions and allow them to build their confidence without worrying about making mistakes. Spoons allows them to learn equivalent fractions in a practical and tactile way which helps them learn through experience. This makes their learning meaningful which makes them more motivated to learn. Moreover, this activity teaches them to think of different strategies of generating equivalent fractions and finding the matching cards. And above all, it is an activity that is fun and engaging for your students. When the activity is fun, they will actively participate in the activity. This in turn will motivate them to enjoy learning equivalent fractions and fractions as a whole. Overall, this is an effective way to formatively assess your students' mastering level on equivalent fractions without the need of giving them worksheets to complete. Students' performance on this activity will help guide you to pave the direction of your lessons to improve students' attainment of equivalent fractions. If students appear to struggle with this activity, then more lessons on equivalent fractions need to take place.